as I said, this is kind of our Christmas uh, meeting, and everyone, if those of you who are viewing and our listening family will get this within their recordings, a piece of straw, as I mentioned already to all of you sitting here, I want you to think about it tonight as you hold this straw in hand and you look at it, or if you don't have a piece of straw, think of taking a toothpick or a piece of grass or a piece of string or anything can represent. What we want to use this is to represent anything that has hurt us this past year anything that we would like to have healed in our lives. And the symbolism is, is that we are going to place this in the manger where Christ is born and allow him to transform it into a miracle. Because our pain and suffering, in his view and vision, are gone. And what is left, as the Course would say, is a miracle. And so we want to be committed. We want to be committed to releasing our pain and suffering our ideas of sacrifice, our ideas of guilt, our ideas of unworthiness, and allow the healing that we symbolize of 2,000 years ago with Christ. We symbolize what a beautiful event that was, how magical that was. Well, every Christmas, every moment, every day, every instant can be as magical as that. We can be transformed. And that's what the holidays are about. That's what Christmas is about, this miraculous transformation. And that doesn't have to be excluded to just Christmas. It can happen right now. And so we're going to symbolically do that. So we're going to hold on to it during the meeting, this little thought, this, this little straw, and then allow that to be transformed at the end. Yeah, Frank. Isn't it perfect because a Christmas star, doesn't the text say... Um, the sign of Christmas. A star is born where an a ancient take has been replaced by present love. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's this beautiful thought that, that within what seems to be great challenges can come great opportunities. Uh, you know, many people have said some of my greatest challenges have, have birthed some of the greatest awarenesses in my mind. It all depends on how we look at it. So we can look at the pain and suffering and move past it, as the Course is always telling us, to the miracle. Just like it says we can get above the battleground, meaning that when we're down in the battleground, the answer is always there. They often say that in nature, the, the problem is, grows right, or the poison grows right next to the antidote. So wherever the problem is, so is the solution. And the Course is constantly telling us, even though this world may seem like an attack on God and has been said that that's what the world of form is, it says that within this world that is wholly neutral, we have the ability to see as God would have us see, to see the love that is always there. So there is always the potential in what seems to be the most difficult of circumstances and situations, the ability to have a miracle be born. And that's what the Course is all about. Focusing our attention on the solution and not the problem, you know, so that it can be healed.